We play and call it work. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and I've got another Gaming Mat Review and Showcase video for you. These ones, we just got four new mats in from a new website. I'm not sure how long this business has been in business, but they are new to us. This is UrbanMats.com. Mats, it's spelled M-A-T-Z. I'll have a link in the video description below and you should have one on this video as well. So go and check them out. And so we got four new ones and I wanna show them off, but before I go any further, yes, they're great is really what it comes down to. There seems to be more of these companies popping up that sell mats like this, and they've all seemed to be using the same technique of using kind of the mouse pad material, which is really good because it doesn't crease really easily, and if it does crease because you've left something on it, all you have to do is flatten it out and the crease goes away. They're waterproof, they roll up. These ones come with carry cases, which is great for if you're trying to lug them places. Uh, for us, the, the carry cases are okay, but we don't care about those quite as much because we just throw them on the shelf. Because we're one of the rare people who gets to just play in the same place all the time and have lots of variety, so we're very fortunate that way. So the, the guys from Urban Mats sent us these in exchange for some advertising, so that's what we're doing right now. And this one, I'm going to show you all four of them. I, we've got four new ones, and, and I love them all. I especially love the, the last one. The, the, the Dirty Roads one is, uh, is my favorite, and you're going to see that one last. This first one is called Urban District. Now it's interesting because while all the companies use the same technique for printing and the mats, what you are getting by having the different companies is different designs. And I love variety. I, I hate using the same thing over and over again. We're forced to do that here just because of how many videos we make. But if I could have a different set of terrain for every game that I played, I would do that. I would love it. And so what it really comes down to is if you take a look at their digital designs and how well they do them, some of them are better than others. Now I'm not gonna to try to rank them up against the other ones because honestly I have found all the different websites to be able to do a good job. But what I am gonna tell you is what I really like about these mats. Now this one is the Urban District one. And I love it because, and Lee was in here, and he was, he was looking to see if he could find any like copy paste kind of things where they just took a design from one spot, literally copied and pasted. And we couldn't really pick that out in here. Even the, the white lines on the roads aren't obviously copied and pasted. Like they, they have good textures over them. And each of these sections is different, which I love. And so you have like this one, which is more like a concrete with some sort of metal thing. He got over here with some fans. He got this one with some sort of broken red brick, like some building used to be there and some sort of, I don't know, it's almost wood looking, except not wood colored. But when you look here, you, or I guess it's more like stones that have broken away. And then you have more tile over here. It's like rusted metal with other concrete. You got some leftover greenery. You got these vents looking things. And so you, you get a lot of variety in this one, which is really nice for battle, for our battle reports, especially because as we go around the, the battlefield, you don't just keep seeing the same thing repeat over and over again. This next one is called Death Zone with the blood streaks in the middle. It's kind of obvious why. There's a road essentially going down the middle with steps up to some sort of raised area here. And obviously something got run over or some things got run over and it's surrounded by skulls and the whole overall feeling of the board is obviously more grayish, kind of with like a pink tinge to it to give it like this ominous feel, almost like a horror feel. And you got skeletons everywhere with pieces of equipment lying around. So there's been big battles that have been fought here, cracks all over the, the rock or concrete. This obviously would work very well in almost any game that's fantasy or sci-fi. A more historical or modern, maybe not quite as much because you don't tend to have this macabre look to them. But since most of the games that we play are fantasy and sci-fi, it'll work great. This next one is a cobblestone 6x4 mat. And this one is much less uh, organized, which lends itself really well to you being able to set up your buildings however you want. One thing I've always noticed with urban mats is that you really have to set up your buildings in a certain way. You might be able to vary which buildings go where, but the roads are very obvious and the non-road sections are very obvious too. Whereas this is just all cobblestone. So if I set up my buildings in a certain way, the roads naturally appear just based on where the cobblestone is. So I kind of really appreciate the fact that this one doesn't have organization. If all mats didn't have organization, I don't think I'd like that. But having some of them in our repertoire, which are like this, really gives us some of that variety. So this would work fantasy or sci-fi, even modern could get away with it but I think even fantasy is where this would really shine, especially on something like Mordheim. 
And this last one is the favorite of the four that were sent. This one's called Dirty Roads, and you can see why it's called that. It's kind of like this cobblestone road. The scale of this one feels different. It almost feels like a 15 millimeter scale, so it'd be really good for historical, like Bolt Action or Flames of War, or whatever historical you play. And obviously it would fit the look for that as well. But I, the scale wouldn't bother me to use it in a 32 mil game or 28 mil game like, like a Fantasy or, or the sci-fi games that we do play as well. I like this. It just has a really good look to it. And once again, he did a really good job with the, the digital art for this, just to give it some variety. Now, this one does kind of force you to place your buildings in a certain way, but I think it would really pay off to, to set up a fantasy board on this with the right buildings or a war machine. And even 40K would be able to play on this as well, albeit not quite as obvious as the fantasy games that we do cover. So I really, really enjoy this one. So stay tuned for more battle reports where you're going to see these mats featured. We will try for the next little while at least to point out which ones are which. Uh, sometimes we forget, but urbanmats.com, mat spelled M-A-T-Z. Link in the video description below and also on this video. Thanks to the guys over there for providing these to give us even more variety for our battle reports. Thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming.